Hey guys, so as you have seen in our haul video recently, um, we bought a bunch of stuff from Camping World, including a new toilet. So this is going to be the install video for our new toilet. It is a Thetford Aquamagic. It is a Thetford Aquamagic 5. We picked it up for 173 well, we actually ended up paying a little less. It was listed for like 150 online and they honored the price. But it is the hand flush, just white, to replace our old Thetford hand flush in nasty yellow. But it's a slightly taller model as well. I think it's 18 inches tall versus 14 inches tall. Since I am six foot two, that should make life a little more pleasant for me. But it looks like a pretty easy install. I'll go ahead and open it up and show you guys what's all inside. Okay, so, of course I've already opened this up because I wanted to look, so I knew what I was looking at. But, it's pretty well packaged. This is the white model, not the cream, or whatever they call it. Even though our shower and stuff is that off-white, now turned yellow with what we did to the bathroom, we wanted to go with the clean white, at least for that space. Maybe eventually we'll repaint the shower. I know there's stuff you can get to be able to do that and make everything look fresh, but that's pretty low on our priority list. It works fine. That's a pretty big project, and meh. But doing a toilet should be pretty easy. It comes with all the hardware you need, a new seal, caps, new bolts, which I was glad to see it come with new bolts because usually those are rusted and pretty, pretty bad and you break them when you try and get them off. So that would be nice. Bunch of warranty and adverts and stuff. Garbage. Instruction manual tells you how to install it and do it all, which again, it's good to have. I've already kind of read through it. It's pretty straightforward. This is the toilet itself. All plastic. We didn't go for a ceramic bowl or anything. We wanted to keep everything still reasonably lightweight. It's a pretty nice basic toilet. Get your valves and all that. All works good. What you see the inside there. There's the valve set up. I think I'll probably have to put a brass fitting here. We'll see what the toilet, existing toilet stuff is like, but we'll have a look there. Did with instructions, the seat flips up. So, something about our old toilet, our top lid hinge broke, and it looks like they've since updated the hinge design. Hopefully, it'll hold up a bit better. It's not really convincingly stronger, but it's still a different and better design. So hopefully instead of breaking, if something were to happen, it might just actually just pop out. But let me go and show you where the other one broke and we'll show you why we want to replace it. So this here is our original toilet. So I was saying our lid broke. So it's all snapped there. And it's just nasty. I mean, it's clean, but it just looks gross. Back here is the original valve and all that stuff. So I'm gonna have to figure out how that'll go. It looks like it might actually be fine. I might not have to do anything crazy. But we'll have to get those bolts loose and see what happens. Get someone knocking. Okay, so 
had to help mom get some stuff out of the trunk. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, put some gloves on. I'm gonna clean this toilet really, really good before I even take it out, just to try and minimize the mess. Then we'll go from there. Excuse Clanny, she loves the smell of bleach. Doesn't make sense to us, but she likes it. So, you see her rolling around on the floor next to the toilet. That's the bleach. But it's it's mostly, it's dry. It's, she's not gonna really get it on her. She just likes the smell. I mean, it's fire over here, chewing on the plastic. This is cats can't make sense of them most of the time anyways um, got everything I wetted it down with bleach let it sit for a bit and then wiped it all off um, turned the water pump off and held the valve open for a while to make sure that there was no residual water pressure in the lines so now I'm gonna go and dig out the tools take loose the water hose and then actually just take the toilet out it should be really quick Okay, so that was actually pretty easy. Um, as you can see, it's already loose. It was two 13 millimeter or 7 16 depending on what you prefer. Um, the hose on the back had a kind of like a wing nut, so I was able to do that by hand. And it's ready to come off. Um, I gave it some thought yesterday before I started the project about how to do this without making a gross mess. So what I did, I got me a big leaf bag here. I'm just gonna bag it and then just scoop it up and I just instantly bag this thing so it doesn't drip and make too bad of a mess. Hopefully that goes as planned. And look through here. I wonder if they'll recycle this. <laughs> yeah, right. Bag opened up. It's a nice heavy duty leaf bag, so it should more than handle this. Okay. Let's see how this goes. The idea is I'm just gonna flip it upside down so. yeah. Gross. I did the trick though let's get this out of the way that's super easy I probably won't even don't even really need to replace those but might as well. I set the fan to blow in, so creating some positive pressure here in the RV. And to be honest, right now I can't really smell anything, but I do have a bit of a head cold, so that's actually working to my advantage. But right now, doesn't doesn't really stink, so that's a win too. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the crap out of this. And then what it says to do is set the toilet in place and then mark and then trim your carpet. I don't know if I'm going to need to do that. We'll see since they obviously didn't do it before. But it's kind of gross. You can, you know, it's, that's a little nasty. So we'll see how it all fits. But this is so far a lot easier than I thought it would be. So that's always good.
You helping me, Clay? You helping? Yeah. Okay, so I just set the toilet in place to see how it looks and fits. Looks great. Fits good. It covers all the old carpet. Gross. Really similar footprint. Which is good. I kind of feel like if I do cut the carpet, it'll actually help the seal squeeze better. As you can see back here, it's my original water valve hose. It's a little shorter, but I think I can, yeah, I can pull it up and get it, get it on there tight enough. I'm going to look and see what's under that carpet and go from there. But I don't know that, I don't know. We'll just have to experiment. Now guys, that is an RV toilet installed. This didn't take hardly any time whatsoever. Didn't check the clock, but I think I probably did it in less than half an hour. Um, only tools I needed was a 13 millimeter wrench, and that was it. Spy approves, do you? You like it? Mm -hmm. So what I did when I tightened it up, I didn't cut the carpet. So I figured it worked fine before. We'll give it a shot. At least that way the carpet's nice and tight and not gonna be flopping around. I tightened these up about uh, probably a full turn, a turn and a half each, and went back and forth on each side until it felt snug. The toilet is firm and in place, even better than before. This has got a much bigger footing than the old one, so it actually is holding its position a lot better. One thing I will say about this particular toilet, and it was something I considered before when we were looking at buying it, it's got like a textured finish. And you can already see, I tried scrubbing at it, and whatever grime that is for me just putting it in is now kind of embedded in that texture. So that's kind of annoying. I will need more of a, maybe more like a sponge or a good microfiber or something to scrub that. I just tried to get it with paper towels and bleach and it didn't work. It got the fitting on back there behind Sfai. She's, I think she likes the new toilet. It is higher. Looks nice. Let's step back here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the water pump on and make sure we don't have any leaks. Pump's pressurized. Is there any leaks, Sly? See any leaks? Hmm? No leaks? What do you think? Huh? Can I see? Yeah, it's all dry. No water there. Valves and all that's good. Let me actually... So our other toilet too wouldn't actually fill with water. It would all leak out, so. Nice and 
tools. This looks like it's maintaining its level. That's good. I wish I could put that sticker on, right? It's all crooked. Anyways, it's flush. The valve seems to flow better than our old one too. It's a nice kind of forceful sploosh. Wraps it around so we get a good rinse. And it's maintaining a little bit of water down there. Okay, so far so good. Let's check back here for leaks again. but it's not wet. Okay. Yep. I think that is it, guys. This is going to be a much shorter video than I anticipated. And this is installing an RV toilet. Super easy. Why not? But thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next project. Yep. Is that the wifey? There she is. Got the toilet. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Wow. It looks so much nicer. Wow, that was really fast. Yeah, it was super easy. Holy. Yeah, wow. it was really easy. It looks so nice in here. Yeah, that's one thing. The texture, you know, like two little grime spots, and <laughs> I tried getting them off. Oh but. no, it looks really great! Wow, mm -hmm. and it's like white and stuff. All yeah, that much better. Yay! Yeah. Thank well, you so then. much. I was just gonna go do yeah. some laundry real fast. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>